Hello everyone, in this video I will go through a numerical exercise with you in Excel that will show you how you can calculate the future value of a growing annuity. Now this kind of exercise can be particularly useful for those of you who are thinking about saving or investing for retirement and planning on investing your contributions for a certain number of years and in each year you're thinking about growing your contributions by a constant rate in fact that is exactly the kind of exercise i'm going to do with you right now so suppose your job only pays you once a year for all the work you do over the previous 12 months now this is a simplification but once you understand this example you'll be able to do this for more realistic scenarios as well where you get paid every month now today, let's suppose it's December 31st. So you just received your salary of $48,000 and you plan to spend all of it. However, you want to start saving for retirement beginning next year. Okay, so one year from now. You've decided that one year from today, you will begin depositing 9% of your annual salary in an account that will earn 10% per year. Your salary will increase at 3.5% per year throughout your career. The question is, how much money will you have on the date of your retirement, which is 40 years from today? Okay, so you're gonna be making contributions for 40 years. The question is, how much will you have by the end of 40 years? So the first thing that I'm doing here is jotting down all the relevant information on the side. So the initial cash flow, which is the initial salary that we're getting today is $48,000. We consume all of that today, that's fine. But starting next year, we'll be saving 9% of our salary. But keep in mind that next year, our salary will be 3.5% more. So we'll be saving 9% of that. The rate of return that we're gonna earn on our investments or saving contributions that's given that's 10 percent, and we're going to be saving for 40 years so now the question is how much will we have at the end of 40 years now there are several ways in which you can attempt this question the first is rather laborious using excel directly what this involves is you literally laying out all the cash flows that you are going to be investing at the end of each year for the next 40 years so in other words, here you are at time period zero. Your salary is $48,000, so you put that here. You're not saving any of that. However, next year, you are going to get a salary of 48,000 multiplied by one plus this growth rate of 3.5%. I'm gonna lock this in with this F4 key right here. What that allows me to do is that when I click on this cell and then right here at the bottom right, if I double click, it's gonna copy that same formula. So in other words, it's taking the last salary and growing it by 3.5%. And this happens every year for the next 40 years. So by the end of the 40th year, my salary is gonna be $190,044. Now my first savings happen at the end of the first year. So that is going to be equal to 9%. And I'm gonna lock this in with the F4 key multiplied it by my annual salary again i'm going to double click here to show you how much i'll be saving at the end of each year and now this is the important part what i'm really interested in is knowing how much each of my saving contribution is going to grow to 40 years from today at time period zero so the first 4471 the question is how much will it be worth 40 years from today Today started here at time period zero, which means that this amount is only going to grow for how many years? Correct, 39 years. So we're gonna say equal to future value. The rate at which this is gonna grow is 10%. I'm gonna lock this in with the F4 key. The number of time periods, this is important. I'm gonna do equal to, or well, not equal to, but I wanna set this equal to 40, which is the total number of years, which is F4, but then subtract what? the number of years that have already gone by. I wanna make sure that this number grows for 39 years, okay? All right, there's no payment, and the present value is nothing but this savings amount right here. I'm gonna enter that with a negative sign to make sure that my answer comes out positive. And now when I close the bracket, there you go. So just this contribution is gonna become worth 183,966.53, 
I'm going to copy this formula and paste it through and through. Notice that in each case, what I'm finding out is the worth of my investment contributions 40 years from now. So now if the question is, what is the future value of this growing annuity? I can find that out how simply by summing up all these numbers. And so that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do sum, and then I'm going to literally take all these numbers and add them up. And so the future value of this growing annuity is going to be about $2.84 million. That's one way of doing it. As you can see, this process is rather time intensive because it involves you laying out this entire table and then filling it out. It's intuitive, but takes time. Fortunately, there is a future value of a growing annuity formula that you can use as well. And it looks simply as follows. C is the first cash flow. That is the end of the first year. So this is the cash flow that starts the annuity. So in our case, this is going to be 4471. R is the discount rate. G is the growth rate. And so all I got to do is simply implement this formula. And so that is what I'm doing here. So notice that G12 is the first cash flow. This is C in our example. I'm dividing that by R minus G, this part right here first, and then multiplying all of that by this entire expression, expression which is one plus R raised to the power T, and then subtracting one plus G raised to the power T. What is worth noting, and this is important, is that while my first cash flow is occurring at the end of the first year, the number of years that I have here is 40, which is the total time period in consideration. So that is an important point. Even though the first cash flow that you're taking is at the end of time period one, you don't do raise to the power 39 here. You do raise to the power 40 here. And so if you do it right, you'll get the exact same answer. And so there you have it. Two equivalent ways of figuring out the future value of a growing annuity in Excel. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.